replacing an evaporator or any component that will take you possibly hours to get to, you want to make sure you didn't make a mistake. You're taking the field piece, SMAN, SMAN or ADB, manifold, connect it up to your nitrogen with the manifold. You must use the pressure regulated manifold because it's contained over 2,000 psi. You want to reduce that down to 150. I already put these under a vacuum so they're cleaned out below 100 microns. So I know there's no air or no moisture inside my hoses. Proceed with turning on the nitrogen. Adjust regulator up to 150 psi. You can do this before or after attaching your gauges. Attach your gauges. enter you'll see the timer start down press enter now the timer is gone you can go off and do other vehicles while this is isolated so now we have 150 psi in the system the timer will cut, cut down count down and leave it here from 15 minutes to an hour to make sure that you haven't lost any pressures what you can read on digital gauges you cannot read on old analog mechanical grade gauges for small amount pressures. And if you wanted to do an overnight test because you spent eight hours on a dash for an evaporator, temperature compensation. You take the low side meter. This has a thermistor. You clamp it onto one of your pipes and it'll literally take the temperature of the pipe to give you the temperature of the gas and it'll compensate for expansion and contraction when the night temperatures go down and the day temperatures go up so you don't get false readings. 